Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your writing coach, Kayla Krajewski, and this week we are doing part three of writing a blog post with me. So if you watched the first couple of episodes, you'll know that we started out writing an article for Medium about my life on living on a tropical island for the past 10 years. So that took two episodes to complete. I mean, it would have take it will eventually take much more because I've actually realized it's gonna have to become like a three or four part series. But um, the exciting thing is I got into the office on Monday and you'll, I'm sure you'll experience this in your writing career or you probably already have loads of times. I was just dying to get it out there. You know, it's, I, I felt really proud of it. I felt like it could be something that people might actually really want to read. So I just thought, do you know what? Screw it. I didn't have any makeup on. My hair was up in a messy bun and, but I just wanted to get it done. And I knew that I wanted to record it so that, um, the, the part that I promised at the end where we actually publish the article on medium and I walk you through those steps is actually a part of the video itself. So um, that was published on Monday, what you're about to see. Uh, it's now Friday, so this is four days later. And I wanted to share with you guys some statistics because I'm pretty happy with them. Um, so it's my first ever article on Medium. I have a profile. I did take some time before I started the video um, to set up a profile on Medium. I hadn't even done that before. So I made, I made my profile, you know, nice. I put a nice kind of recent photo, added a small bio, and, and now I have one article published. Um, somehow I already had like 230 followers and I think that's just because I'm an avid medium reader. So I just <clears throat> happened to accumulate those followers probably when I followed people, they followed me back, that kind of thing. Um, so after four days, the article has been, I'm looking at my statistics on medium just now. The article has been viewed, which means clicked on 2000 times. That's like, it's exactly 2000 right now. I don't know if that's rounded up or down. Um, and then Medium also gives you a separate statistic for reads. So obviously just because somebody clicks on your article doesn't mean they're gonna read it start to finish. So reads means that they've actually scrolled through the article. And of those, I have 1,194. So almost 1200 people out of the 2000 who clicked on the article have actually read it which it is telling me is a 60% read rate. That means 60% of the people who uh, clicked on the article read the article, which I think is probably pretty good. I don't know, I haven't, like it's my first time publishing on Medium, but I think that those statistics are, are pretty decent. It's not, it's not gone viral. Um, 2000 clicks is in four days is not viral, but for my first article, I'm pretty happy with it. Now, I want to let you know that I have not made any money from it. I joined the Medium Partner Program after I published the article, so I'm not sure if that affected things because I'd already had a certain amount of views by then. Um, that's possible. We'll see, I guess, when we publish my coming articles, uh, what the difference is. But I haven't made any money from it. Now, I didn't do it to make money. Um, I did it partly to promote this channel, partly to, you know, create a video and partly to promote the Digital Nomad Writing Club. So let's get into me walking you through how to take an article from Google Docs and publish it on Medium. Hey guys. Okay, so I am going to now publish this article on Medium now that it's ready. So. <clears throat> it's a couple days later. I took a couple of nights to think about it and let the ideas kind of stew in my head and make sure that there was nothing missing that I didn't want to add in. I've read over it again this morning. I'm not going to do that again <laughs> on video because I feel like you guys are very familiar with the story now. Um, 
And I'm just gonna walk you guys through the process now of publishing this article on Medium, okay? So just so you know, I did go in and update my Medium profile before I started recording this video. Um, that's super straightforward, so I don't feel like I need to walk you through that. I think that that's pretty easy to do. So let's just go ahead and write. So we go to medium.com. So I'm just gonna pretend I'm not on this website already. Okay, so I just typed in medium.com. All right, and then I'm gonna go over to my profile and I'm gonna click write a story. Okay, and then I'm going to copy the headline and then I don't think I'm gonna include a subhead unless I have to because I'm not thrilled with the one that's there, it doesn't make a lot of sense and I haven't been able to think of something better. So for now, we're just gonna leave it. So if you see, you can actually um, go into your medium settings here and you can click on design your profile and that will actually allow you to adjust the font, the background, etc., etc. I didn't play around with that too much because medium is actually so successful because they do studies. They do like research studies on groups of people to determine what is the best font size, what is the easiest font to read, um, and sort of what sort of story setting people prefer when they're either on, you know, scrolling on their phone or reading on their laptop. A medium has optimized their magazine so that it provides the most optimal reading experience. So that's why I didn't play around with it too much because it's working, so why screw with it, right? Um, okay, so I mean, <laughs> I said I was gonna walk you through it. If, if I'm honest, I've never, I've never done this before. I've never published on Medium. Obviously I've published on loads of other blogs, um, but never specifically on Medium and I've been wanting to do it for quite some time. So that is why I chose to do that for this uh, YouTube video. So let's go ahead and click publish and then see what happens. Okay, so we've got the story preview. We're going to need to include a high quality image, which is perfect because I have tons of those. And let's see. Okay, so then we're gonna have to come up with a preview. Changes will affect how your story appears, appears in public places, do, 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 do. And we're gonna add tags, okay? Okay, so I have, luckily I had a Facebook album called I Ran Away to a Tropical Island. It had like all my photos from my first year on Copenhagen. So I've downloaded what I think are the most um, relevant ones, the most interesting ones, and I'm going to now insert them into the article. So a good rule of thumb when you're publishing an article should be one photo for every, let's say 150 to 250 words. I'm gonna do 200, and, well, basically if I divide this article by seven, or sorry, if I divide this article by 250, then it's about seven photos. But on Medium, I've been looking around and you can actually do a grid. So this is an article all about like how to insert images um, on Medium. So I like the idea of having a grid in some places if, if I can make it work. So I just, I was gonna resize the images and all that off screen, but I thought might as well do it on screen um, just in case anybody's unsure how to do that. So we've got the sizes here, preferred image sizes, full column width images. So obviously that's gonna go across the entire screen. Outset images, no idea what the hell that is. Outset, it's an outset image. Screen width. Okay, 
<laughs> Maybe I don't actually know what I'm talking about. Ah, here, that'll explain it. So obviously this is, the full column width image is this one. This one will be the outset image and this will be the screen width image. So, and then grids. Do we have a preferred image size for grids? No, and I, and uh, it says the grid will be automatically generated for your multiple images um, and it will format them like automatically according to the sizes to make it, you know, the kind of most optimal looking grid. And we have to write 140 character snippet as well. So we'll do that. Okay, what am I doing? Uh, right, so the first thing we need to insert an image here. So I have an idea for this one. I think it's quite relevant to the beach. Okay, so I'm just in Canva now. I found an image that I want to use. Custom size, here we go. Let's do half, 700. You can always adjust it. Okay, now we take as the image. So this is the reason why I selected this image is because it speak the then the text will speak to the images, which is what you want to do. So here you can see we've got this is approximately two hundred words after the last photo I've posted. And it says, it's this scene of Fraser coming to me holding this adorable little puppy, Charlie. So I thought, okay, let's try to find a photo of that time, which I did. Now the problem with this is that it is, um, that it is, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Portrait. Good on me, so cute. But we do need Fraser in there at least a little bit. Okay, I think that's good. Fraser and Charlie. Oh, actually, should we up the saturation? Let's see. Oof. Problem with having a Scottish husband is that he is a consistent shade of tomato all the time. Maybe I should actually do the other way. Oh, I don't want to make him look redder than he is. Okay, maybe we just leave the saturation as it was. Okay, download. Then, we're going to pop it in our article once that's downloaded. Perfect. It's not a great photo. It's, I mean, it's a good photo, obviously, of Fraser and Charlie. They both look super cute, but the image quality is not great. Four days in, we got a puppy. It's not a super clever caption, but it's relevant. Oh, maybe a photo of sticky rice and ice cream now. Oh, first let's optimize the image again. And actually just delete it. And then... Okay, so that's why I like to use Canva for sizing photos. It's not technically what you're supposed to use it for. I think you're supposed to use things like PicMonkey and whatever. Why is that not going all the way down? Oh, it is. Okay. But like basically I can just put, so I've got my template for my image basically and then I just put the image in and then it kind of automatically resizes, which is quite cool. Okay, so now we've got three images. I can do an image grid now because I've got a bunch of photos 
of us moving into our new house. Well, it's not actually us moving in, but uh, so I'm pressing control, holding down control as I uh, as I go through these. Yeah. Okay, so now I have added all of my imagery to my Medium article, just scroll through from the top. Actually, I wanted to do this on camera. I actually want to adjust this image so that it goes all the way across the screen. I think it looks better that way. It's like a header image. So that's why I did that. It was on this, and then I switched it to this full screen one, okay? So, here are the images that have been inserted. As you can see, it's like an image. There's, at, there's almost always at least a couple paragraphs in between the images. There's only one where there's only one paragraph. Shoot, I need to put my Mac in. Okay. All right, let's publish. Oh, yes, okay, cool. All right, we have to write our 140 character snippet. I'm just gonna plug my Mac in and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've written our snippet. It says, I promised myself after holidaying on Koping and Thailand, in Copenhagen, Thailand, that I'd move there one day. So, no, that I'd move there one day. Oh, that I'd move there one day. Someday. There we go. Someday. So one day I did. Here's how it went. Now let's make sure we're under 140. Got 128. Just so you know, um, it's shift control. God, I do it so quickly, I don't even know. Shift Control C to get the uh, word count on Google Docs. I'm at 128, so I'm within the limits. So I'm gonna copy that, paste it here. Add some tags. Um, life. Um, digital nomad life style. That's one. Um, living abroad. Okay. Or living in Thailand. 141, that's not a very high. I'm trying to choose ones that have um, that have higher numbers that appear next to it. Those are the numbers of articles that are published on that topic. So we want to try to find a category that's not overly saturated, but not um, undersaturated either. Okay, we're gonna do it. Ready? Okay, it's a nine minute read. And there we go. That's published. So now it's time to share it, of course, on Facebook and with my network. There we go. Let's see if I can add part one. I can. Okay. And now I am a published medium author. Very happy with that. 
All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you found the video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe down below. If you have any questions about how to publish an article on another platform or questions about publishing on Medium or just anything about a copywriting career in general, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you and I'll be very happy to write you back. And until next time, have a great weekend. Bye.